Hi friends, today I'm gonna be making cream pan. It's a very popular sweet bread in Japan filled with pastry cream. The pastry cream is not too sweet or not too rich. It has a little bit of chewy texture compared to shoe cream, pastry cream. The bread dough contains egg yolks and milk. It's very moist and a little bit sweet. It's a perfect match with the pastry cream. Let's start with making sweet bread dough. Keep a teaspoon of egg yolk for the egg wash. Mix egg yolk and lukewarm whole milk. In a large bowl, put in the bread flour, sugar and salt, whisk to combine with the chopstick. I always mix dry ingredients with my chopstick because it's much easier and faster to even out the dry ingredients. You can use a spatula or a whisk instead. Adding active dry yeast, whisk to combine. Pour in one third of egg milk mixture and mix until observed. Add the rest of the half of the egg milk mixture into the bowl and repeat the process. In this way, you can add wet ingredients into the bread flour more effectively and shorten the mixing time. When it forms the dough, cover with a plastic wrap and leave it for 10 minutes until the bread flour absorbs the moisture and relax the gluten. We are going to knead the dough by hand today. I found that the 10 minutes rest makes the hand kneading much faster and it needs shorter kneading time. It makes an elastic and beautiful dough. While resting, let's make the pastry cream for cream pan. Cream pan is more like everyday meal for a breakfast or for a coffee break rather than a dessert. The ratio is not too rich. In the heavy bottom pot, add in the whole milk and half the amount of sugar. Start heating on medium-low heat. I don't know why, but sugar prevents forming a film on the surface of the milk. Add the rest of the sugar into the egg yolks and whisk well until it looks like pale yellow. Add in flour and cornstarch and whisk to combine. Add in vanilla paste or vanilla essence. Add 3 tablespoons of hot milk mixture into the egg mixture. Whisk well, then add in the rest of the hot milk mixture in 3 stages. Whisk well and bring it back to the pot, passing through the sieve. Prepare a bowl set on the ice bath beside you to transfer the cooked pastry cream. Cook on medium-high heat, stirring constantly. Do not stop stirring, otherwise you will end up lumpy pastry cream. Cook until bubbling, cook one more minute to cook thoroughly. If you don't cook thoroughly, the cream will taste like low flour and it's not comfortable to eat. Turn the heat off and add in the butter. Whisk to combine. The butter works for improving the texture that melts in your mouth. The melting point of the butter is lower than the other ingredients, so the butter will melt in your mouth first and it helps releasing the flavor. Transfer to a prepared bowl. Cover with the plastic wrap directly on the surface to prevent forming a film on the surface. Leave it until cool. Now let's start kneading the dough by hand. You can also use stand mixer of course or bread maker. 
This is a rich dough with egg yolks and milk. It's not easy to knead by hand, but let's give it a try. Take out the dough onto the working surface and spread the dough by your hand like this and put it back together. Repeat the spread and put it back together motion until the dough becomes smooth to the touch. What this does is combining all the ingredients together and binding together. Then knead until the dough becomes elastic and smooth. Flip it over and heat the surface. The dough is very sticky at first, so use a scraper to scrape down the bread dough from your hand and working surface. After 5 to 6 minutes, the dough becomes like this. Be patient and play around the dough. Let's give it a window pane test to make sure the gluten has developed or not. When you stretch the dough and it stretches like paper thing, it's okay to add unsalted butter. Add in room temperature butter and knead until the dough comes back together and smooth and elastic. Shape the dough into a bowl and put it in a greased bowl. Cover with a piece of plastic and let it rise at warm place for about 60 minutes until double in volume. After 60 minutes, it looks like this. Give it the poke test. Poke the dough in the center with a dusted finger. The hole you have just made is not shrinking back, it's okay to go. Take out onto a floured surface. Divide into 50 gram bowls. Shape into a bowl and cover with a plastic wrap. Leave it for 5 minutes for bench rest. While the bench rest, the gluten relaxes and it becomes more easy to shape. Loosen the chilled custard cream to make it easy to handle with a spoon. After 5 minutes, roll out the dough into 5mm thick and shape into an oval. Place the 50 grams of pastry cream in the center, fold the dough over the cream, and pinch to seal. Place it on an individual pieces of parchment paper. Repeat the process. Today, I want to make another shape. You can make 10 cream pan from this recipe, but today I make 5 cream pan and 1 raisin cream pan with the rest of the dough. Roll out the rest of the dough, 20 by 25 cm rectangle, and spread the rest of the pastry cream, not too thick, but evenly on the surface. Sprinkle the rum raisin all over the pastry cream. Roll up the dough as if you were making a cinnamon buns and pinch to seal the end. Cut into six and put it in a muffin cup cut side up. Line them on the baking tray and cover with a plastic wrap. 
Leave the buns at one place for about 30 minutes until puffs up and a little bit bigger than the original size. Mix saved egg yolk and one teaspoon of whole milk well and make a egg wash. Brush onto the cream pan. After brushing the egg wash, cut the 2 cm slit around the edge. I didn't realize that I should put it on the individual paper at this point. It will help if you did that before you give it a try. We cut the slit to release the steam from the pastry cream, which prevents the explosion of the bread dough. Sprinkle the sliced almond if you have on your hand. Pop in the 190 degrees Celsius oven for 12 to 15 minutes until golden brown. For the rum raisin cream pan, Brush the egg wash just outside. Bake it for about 12 minutes at 190 degrees Celsius. The ratio of the sugar content is higher than the normal bread, so if your bread starts browning too fast, you should lower the temperature of the oven or cover with the aluminum foil. Keep your eye on the bread to prevent scorching. There you have it. The perfect cream pan. For the rum raisin cream pan, let's drizzle the rum icing. Mix powdered sugar and dark rum. Drizzle over the surface while the bread is still warm. Let the icing dry completely. You can find cream pan at any Japanese bakery and they have many styles of their own. I have already shown you the other version of the cream pan before, but this one is the most popular style and classic cream pan. Who doesn't like the warm, comforting pastry cream and moist bread dough? It's perfect for coffee break or a weekend breakfast. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try and go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!